I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by Annalisa Buffer. Annalisa, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. I know You're you've welcome. got a busy schedule. Yes, very busy actually. <laughs> so tell us a little bit, before we kick off, tell us a little bit about your research institute. I think it's called Imarti. Okay, so my research institute is an, insti is an institute within uh, the National Research Council. The National Research Council is a larger research institution in Italy that uh, has been founded after the Second World War with the, with the, the mission of uh, interacting and being supportive to the innovation uh, in Italy. It's very important. We've been talking a lot with people this week about the importance of applying mathematics to some of the issues facing engineering or, 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 or industry. Do you think that's an important uh, application for your work? Yes, I think it's, uh, it's an important application to my work. There are, there are different stages. One can interact directly with industry, but sometimes as a mathematician it's not completely easy or can try to interact with the, so to, with the applied engineer that can then interact uh, with the industry. And our, uh, at least my mission as I, as I see it is that I want to provide tools to engineers so that they can solve their problem more accurately and faster. Fantastic. Now you're giving a lecture this week here, aren't you? I, I will be giving a lecture on Wednesday. Yes. What's it about? Uh, it's about the use of splines for uh, the discretization of partial differential equations. Um, and what are you going to give us a little bit more of a flavour of what you're going to be talking about? Okay, so in, um, around 10 years ago there was uh, an American uh, professor who came up with the idea of uh, using splines instead of uh, classical, classical finite elements uh, to solve partial differential equations and the idea was to try to reduce uh, the distance between uh, uh, CAD systems, so the, the systems on which uh, domains and geometry, geometric features are designed and uh, uh, then the partial differential equation solver that is supposed to run over those uh, geometric features to produce uh, uh, physical quantities, if you want, the behavior of physical quantities. So the idea was, to, and, and those two, uh, so the geometric entities on one side and the PD solver on the other side, they were uh, like developing uh, like two separate roads. And the idea is to try to bring them together to obtain a tool which is more powerful. The distance from uh, the wish and the reality is still far away, but uh, we are working in, in this, uh, so th this is the push to the use of splines. Okay. And uh, you won a prize this week as well, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. So I won a prize that is the Collatz Prize uh, that is delivered to uh, mathematicians under the age of 42. And uh, it was uh, given to me uh, for the use of uh, for what I did on, along my careers and especially because I was able to use uh, sophisticated mathematical tools uh, to solve problems that are of interest for engineers and industry. Well, thank you very much indeed for, for joining us and we hope you have a great week. Thank you. Thanks to you.